Welcome to Where Does Food, the food history podcast, where we talk at you. Woo! I'm Tim. That was great. I'm Elle. And uh, yeah, this is Where Does Food, this is food history podcast, yep, hosted yep. by two bunch of none your business. Yeah, we don't know Grab anything, but uh, you know what? We've we want to know things, so we're learning. We're doing this. We're learning. You're learning. Let's learn together. Sesame Street. Um, today's right, episode is about mustard. 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 Um, how do you feel about mustard? Like though? DJ mustard. DJ mustard. Uh, um, how do you feel about mustard, dude? I you thoughts, know, feelings, emotions. I'm not necessarily indifferent about mustard, but it's not necessarily my go-to condiment. Now, if I'm making a burger, I'm gonna add it on there with my ketchup and my mayo. Same thing, hot dog. I'm gonna have a hot dog brought with my ketchup mustard, but I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of honey mustard. I mean, of mustard, honey mustard. I eat honey mustard depending on who made the honey mustard. Right. Catch my drift. Um, but yeah, no, mustard, you want to talk tiers of condiments. It's definitely a 33 for me. Right. Well, But I don't mind it, though. I'll eat it. Yeah. But not so Dijon mustard. From not Dijon. Not Dijon. All right. So as we do, as, as we is do. tradition on this show, uh, we like to rate things. Absolutely. Um, and, and the rating changes every time. Absolutely. So how many albums does Jay-Z have? 18? It's the Black Album. On know. a He's scale a- from one... To eighteen like Jay Z albums. Like that. Um, <laughs> Damn. Okay. How many Jay Z albums are you feeling? <laughs> Nine. Mustard is worth. Uh, out of eighteen. 18. I think it's eighteen albums. Yeah, no, at least seven to nine range, honestly, on that. All right, I'm going to go with your bottom seven. You don't seem enthusiastic I'm not, I, about no, mustard. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not so, terribly enthusiastic, so I'm excited. Yeah, about to change yeah, my mind. You know, I, I hope to change your mind. I'm so too. You've been pumped as, about mustard. Yeah, evening, as we so. dive into our our mustard episode so i was like we definitely mentioned a little bit in our mayonnaise episode i do recall that a little bit yeah so yeah let's see what you got for me mustard hey there it's your host tim stopping the podcast to tell you about an awesome deal that you can get through rep sports rep sports is a supplement company so they help supplement people's workout lives they have proteins pre-workouts post-workouts recoveries they have all types of supplements over there so go check them out and fill out that stack i know you're getting low i can feel it my stack's getting low i'm about to do me a shop as well you can also get mine and l's favorite energy drink raise energy i'm telling you one can gets you through the day not a problem raise energy is fantastic no crash at all so if you go to repsports.com and use the code wdf15 you can get 15 percent at checkout again WDF15, you get 15% at checkout, and you also get to support this podcast and support your workout routine, man. Go do it. Now enjoy the rest of this podcast that we love doing. Hey guys, welcome to the ad section. I'm here to tell you real quick about Anchor by Spotify. You may have heard us talk about Anchor at the end of our episodes is because Anchor is the platform we use to distribute our podcasts. It's totally free. It helps us distribute our podcasts to different platforms. That's how we're on Apple Podcasts. That's how we're on Google Podcasts, CastBox, you name it. They've helped us do that. You can record directly on the app, on the webpage. They don't even need a super fancy setup. It's super straightforward, totally free. So download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started on your podcast or whatever you like to do. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of the episode. All right, so... Mustard comes from the mustard seed, which is derived from the mustard plant. Mm. Did you know that? I did know that it was a yeah, plant. that it was a plant. Which thoroughly confuses me. Right. Um, yeah. So there is uh, white or yellow mustard, okay. which is uh, a more mild seed. Um, there's brown mustard and black mustard, ah, uh, which okay. typically is a little bit bolder, more pungent, more spicy. So the seeds typically get ground or they get bruised and they get mixed with water, vinegar, wine, lemon mm. juice, salt and other things this is sort of just how mustard is made with a variable of things so in the mayo episode i sort of talked how like that's the basis of like a lot of sauces well what i've learned with mustard is that there's just a lot of different mustards okay like like yeah like a a stupid amount of mustards which is kind of (laughs) wild (laughs) yeah i had no clue but we'll kind of go into those later i'm I'm thinking i might end this with just a list of (laughs) mustards yes okay Um, and we'll kind of greatest hits yeah mustards greatest hit yeah so mustard has been used in india bangladesh the mediterranean northern and southeastern europe asia america the 
Americas. I was like, not just international, America, yeah. Yeah. And Africa. Damn, okay. So in all continents, I think. So it is uh, hands down one of the the most popular spices. Did not realize, yeah. In the world. All right, let's get into, obviously, the word itself and just the history of mustard. Uh, so the word, uh, English word mustard comes from the Anglo-Norman mustarde. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And old French course most start a course so the must start a must start a um <laughs> damn condiments over there yeah the very first version of the word uh comes from the latin word mustum ah okay yeah um and it's actually so i'm gonna break it down into two this i mean that's how words work um so mustum is essentially a condiment that was made with ground the ground seeds and then either freshly ground grapes known as must okay um interesting or bird juice which is um ground up unripe grapes really so a little bit more tart okay yeah so this is um, mine yeah, the second part of the word comes from the from, comes from Latin as well, which is ardens, which just means hot or flaming. Okay. So mustum ardens. Who would have thought? Who would have mustard? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I, words are fascinating. That was just yeah. That's yeah. very interesting. Okay. And that one was like very like on the nose. Yeah. It was like mayo. I. It's very were, satisfying. Where people were like, no, no, we're ardens. not doing that. Like that one was like, oh, mustum ardens. We're doing Must that. Must yeah. ard. <laughs> it totally works um so <laughs> archaeologists discovered uh good old fucking archaeologists yeah, we got a little uh indiana jones discovered no uh, brendan fraser brendan fraser discovered that mustard was cultivated in the indus valley um Yo. which is a bronze age civilization yeah. in southeast asia uh, that existed from 3300 bce to 1300 BCE. Wow. Uh, that's before the common era, baby. Um, so, yeah, that's that's a, a long time ago. Saying, yeah. And uh, as far as mustard goes, I mainly hear, you know, talking about just like people using mm -hmm. the the mustard seed. Mm -hmm. um, not necessarily that. Like, it was that condom that we know. Uh, condiment, not condom. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> hey, uh... Who knows? Um, our favorite, <laughs> our favorite Civ is coming back. Our our boys, the, the Romans. Romans. God bless, dude. They're just fucking on it. What? The Romans are believed to be the no first to use mustard as a condiment. Wow. Yeah, they really were on it. <laughs> they were like. So there was a Roman cookbook compiled okay. of a bunch of recipes okay. from the late 4th to early 5th century. Oh, wow. Um, and the specific recipe for mustard was ground mustard, pepper, caraway, lovage, which is a uh, herb. Didn't know that. I didn't know what that was. Um, like cabbage? Yeah. <laughs> grilled coriander seeds, dill, celery, thyme, oregano, uh, uh, onion, honey, vinegar, fish sauce, and oil. Mm. And it was intended to be used as a glaze for like boar or other meats. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What a that actually sounds pretty good. What a recipe, bro. Yeah. <laughs> um, Absolutely. Okay. Living their best lives, the Romans, man. Clearly, um, they're out here just having fucking a great time they, culinary. I'm telling you, they're just doing whatever they want. They're, so uh, they end up exporting <laughs> mustard to Gaul. Um, oh. Yeah. And so Gaul is a city in Western Europe. So by the late 10th century, Western Europe actually. Started Started to develop their own so <laughs> okay yeah so in that you know again early four or late mean. fourth early fifth we we're starting to see it used in recipes just things like that so it's been used in the roman empire yeah. um and then they wow. start to export it and start to make a little bit of moolah and then in the western europe uh world starts to develop their own by the 10th century as it goes along people are like digging this you know what i mean so they're making their own the first appearance of mustard uh makers in paris dates back to 1292 wow by the 13th century <laughs> dijon france dijon, became baby. The mustard making epicenter in Europe. Yo, the French and the Romans, dude. Yeah, so it was so popular, and I, I this I love little things in history where it's like this super like some dude threw a party and yeah. a lot of people ate this one thing. Yeah, like and this is another one of those. <laughs> so there was a gala held by the Duke of Burgundy in 1336, okay. and it was yes. claimed that his guests ate 320 liters of mustard. My mouth is dropped. What? I yeah. Yeah, just what? like that is insane. That's insane. Is that the only thing that they were serving at this damn party? <laughs> Two like, liters of mustard. Oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> Popping ah, bottles. That's a great visual representation. Though. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for that. <laughs> yeah. ah. What are they dipping that with? Insane, Toast? man. Toast, yeah. Oh, um, 
So in, wow. in 1887, Great Poupon was established. Yes, okay, that Great um, Poupon. Yeah, and it was between the mustard maker Maurice Gray and his financial backer Augusta Poupon. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We love that. Okay. Yeah, so it was just two dudes. They were like, uh, one of them made the mustard, one of them was like the throwing yes. the cash at him like he was a fucking stripper on a Monday, day, a Monday morning, you know? You don't want to be there, but you're doing it. <laughs> it's the buffet. They I got like a good that. buffet. No, good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, also around this time, which is uh, sort of they give credit to Great Poupon's success okay. because around this time was the first automatic mustard making machine. Okay. Yeah. Intrigue. So, so just smash the seeds yeah, down? Yeah. You just, you're just one of those mixers that just made cool. it and you put it in there and it processed it for you and boom, there you go. Fabulous. And, and Great Poupon's already pretty, I guess... They probably were already established. They probably had that same sort of like Hellman's Mayo right. thing where it was like, you know, people were <laughs> like, oh, this yeah. spot in Dijon is nice. They like, gave this nice little compliment. Yeah. Um, and this is going to blow your mind, but to this day, okay. Dijon is known as the mustard capital of the world. Yes. I love that so much, actually. Yeah. I'm really glad that they kept that Which for is centuries later. Insane. So that's so, wait, that's so satisfying that Dijon. Everything about mustard Dijon, is, like, everything uh, about mustard is like satisfying. That. Yeah. That's a nice, like all the way it all from, comes around all the circle. way how the word like came yeah. together. Um, to the fact that our classic boys, the Romans, got a hold of it and we're using it as a condiment, all the way to the fact that Dijon, France, was like, Love now it. we're the epicenter, and then they just became like the world, like For mustard, like yeah, city of mustard, uh, which is like what a title, city to, of gold, yeah, what a title to behold. I mean, <laughs> truly, it's it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, so let's, I know, I know what you're thinking. You're um, like, when in the hell yeah. do we get to North America yeah. and when was it put on a hot dog? Yeah, yeah, that's what <laughs> like, I want to know. When was the it people want to know, Tim. People want to know. So the first use of mustard on hot dogs was seen in the U.S. at the 1904 St. Louis World Fair. There was a and it was, it was actually the French's food company's introduction <laughs> To their yellow mustard. Yes. So yellow mustard Another wasn't print. made until okay. 1904. And it would still be done by the French at that. Uh, well, or, by the company, okay, the French's yeah. company. Yeah. So the French's company, like they did a lot of different foods, um, but oh, that yeah, was okay. their introductory. That's like cool. that was the way they showed the world okay. about yellow mustard, which is pretty cool. Um, well, you still, yeah, they still make mustard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So say, yellow mustard is a, a, yellow mustard literally. is one of the most, uh, Fresh, or yeah. is the most common mustard consumed in America. Makes sense. And is tied with, I believe, Dijon in Canada as the most popular mustard. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Like yellow mustard is my least favorite mustard. I was so. gonna ask you about that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'd like it. I prefer <laughs> it over the the dark. So typically, typically it's science with L, but today. Yeah. It is science with him. Mustard edition. Mustard. So mixing mustard, mustard with water actually yeah. causes a chemical reaction between the two compounds that's in the mustard seed. Wait, with water? Yeah, with water. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> the enzyme myro... I'm going to fuck these up, mm. but uh, myrosinase uh, is the... Con so this compound that's in a mustard seed, mm -hmm. it's the spicy part. It's the hot part. It's essentially is what it's meant to combat being consumed. <laughs> like it combats herbivores. That, oh, that's shit. What, that's what that compound does. That enzyme is in certain foods and essentially that's what gives it that spiciness and it oh, will wow. deter... Yeah, yeah. It will deter herbivores from eating it because, like, ooh, that's not very... That's not a good oh. feeling. Oh, so, that's so cool. Yeah, okay. so between that and various glucosinolates, the compound that makes the mustard pungent, so you mm -hmm. have the one that makes it spicy and the one that makes it sort of that acrid bitterness. Yeah. Um, water creates a chemical compound, uh, a chemical reaction between those two things. Uh, the myrosinase turns the glucose, <laughs> the gl not the glucose, the glucose, Sinolates into various compounds known as, well, what we would just say layman's wise, mustard oil. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. So that's, wow. yeah, that's sort of how we get yeah. like, mustard to happen, which is who would have thought? Science. Um, 
<laughs> also, tools. super fun fact about mustard yeah. is it's really antibacterial. Like, okay, it did not know doesn't, that. Like, it's I'm not gonna say like it has low moisture, but it has okay. low water content, which that can equate to um like rotting and stuff like that. But like mustard is intrinsically like antibacterial, so it holds <sighs> really really well. It doesn't okay. go bad. Like it can dry out, and as sure. it ages, it loses its flavor. Sure, but like you can literally just. Have put a little fridge. extra you can put a little bit of extra vinegar in there and it livens it like right back up yo i had no idea yeah mustard super awesome. cool it's like the goat of condiments <laughs> it just lives on forever um, yeah so th- all right so now we're gonna betty white so we're gonna, yeah we're gonna talk about uh we're gonna talk about the different types of mustard so american yellow mustard all right so like i already said it's the most used in america mm-hmm. and it is tied with dijon in canada okay as the most used. Um, yellow mustard is a mild mustard on the spectrum of mustards. Mm-hmm. Preferred. And apparently it's super yellow because of turmeric. Ah, okay. That's, yeah, that's where it sort of gets it, uh, its whole thing from. Okay. Um, and it was introduced as a cream salad mustard. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know about that, Chief. Yeah, well, and you know, it, it's like I said, it ended up on hot dogs, things right. like that, like which George Day French, the guy who owned French's. So as we know, Hot dogs, sandwiches, it's yellow mustard. It's like the most consumed one. Uh, all right, so spicy brown and deli style. Yeah. Yeah, so spicy brown, super common in the States. Right. Again, mostly in delis. It's coarsely ground mustard seeds, um, specifically like brown mustard seeds. Um, mm. And it that's why you have that sort of like brown, yellowish sort okay. of speckled feature yeah. to it. Yeah, um, okay. And yeah, it's spicier mm-hmm. uh, naturally. It's got more heat behind it. Bit punchy. And some of them incorporate horseradish as well. Oh, yeah. I didn't so know that. So it actually raises the spiciness okay. level. Okay. That's okay. That mm, didn't know yeah. that. That making sense now. Okay. Also, there. Yeah. I don't know if you've heard of Creole mustard. I have not. Tell me more. Yeah. So essentially, it's like Louisiana's version of <laughs> like spicy brown mustard. Mm, right? But it's so, so good, dude. Yeah. So super cool. Beer mustard. I have heard of beer mustard. Yeah. Okay. So get, get rid of the vinegar. Put beer. No <laughs> like bull- cheese. No beer cheese. Bullshit. Get rid of the vinegar. Put beer. I've not had that. I bet it's good though. It is so Thicker. good. It is so good. Okay. I love it. Beer mustard is like one of my favorites. Whole grain mustard. You take a lot of variety of whole grain seeds. You mix it together. Oh, easy peasy. Yep. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, it causes a. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different flavors going yeah. on. Some spicier, some not. I, I, you know, good sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Honey mustard. Let me some honey mustard. Take mustard. Mm. Take honey. Mm. Smack. Put mm. them together. Um, many different ratios are used. One to one is pretty common. Okay. But yeah, tons of different ratios. Hot pepper mustard. Oh, no. <laughs> Didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> Yeah, take your hot sauce yeah. instead of your vinegar. Just pretty much the idea is that you just use peppers, <sighs> like some yeah. chili peppers in some way. I don't think I could do that. In your mustard base. Um, I've, never, I've never had hot oh. pepper mustard. I would fucking eat it. I think it you'd fuck it up though, bro. spoonfuls. Yeah, um, yeah. Fruit mustards. Never no, had fruit mustards. Never, no, but, never heard of that. Uh, yeah, it's been around since the 14th century. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Noted. So it's just been around for Another a thing. while. Yeah. So essentially you just, you know, you just take fruits that have been preserved um, and you mix it, right? Like, and so it's kind of sweet, spicy, I bet that's that really whole good. thing. Um, I can, maybe, I, I don't like, what I would definitely be down to try I would that. definitely be down to try, but what fruits are vibing with the taste of mustard? I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah. So hot mustard, that term is specifically used, like you're probably thinking like, well, what's the difference between spicy mustard? Yeah. Not? So hot mustard is just typically used as a term to like pro- a process that's used to bring out the extra pungent flavors mm, of okay. mustard so you're going to typically see like black mustard being used there apparently cold water actually helps pull the flavor out more so okay. it's probably processed with cold it's probably made with yeah. cold water as opposed to like processing it with hot water and bringing heat to it and kind of breaking it down more sure. i'm assuming that hot mustard is typically just how little can we process this <laughs> How can we mix this up? How can yeah. we add the right things? Just kind of just pull that extra pungent flavor out. So that's specifically what wait, hot wait, yeah. mustard is for. Spirited mustards? No. You mix it with spirits. So it's like beer mustard. You just take away the vinegar. Wow. You put okay. spirits there. You just I had no put clue. some liquor in there. It's fine. It's mustard. It's fine. It's 
fine. Sweet mustard, <laughs> yeah, sugar, so. applesauce, delicious stuff like that. Like it's just different. So honey mustard technically is a sweet mustard, yeah. but like yeah, it's just the most common form of sweet mustard. Um, so it Dijon mustard. I thought I was gonna not mention Dijon mustard. <laughs> what is wrong with Our you? Point Dijon. <laughs> So Dijon mustard, typically uh, it, it gets made with white wine. Okay. So that's kind of what makes it special. Okay. Is that white wine sort of adds that flavor. Mm. English mustard is bright yellow. Mm. Um, have you ever had English mustard? No. Very spicy. Coleman's. You can find it at the store. Coleman's. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So th this one is, I, for me, Coleman's is really good with like roast. You know mm. what I mean? Like a Reuben and yes. like Coleman's really works. I, obviously like deli like a, mustard works with like that too. beef Wellington but mustard yeah, in like, Yeah. Like, okay. That, that, that would work really well. I don't know how Gordon Ramsay would feel about it, but... <laughs> The idiot sandwich. Coleman's also sells their uh, powder. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then French mustard, not French's mustard. Uh, French, French mustard is uh, dark brown. Um, it's typically tangy and sweet. You can also make mustard at your house. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. You like just take some of that Coleman's mustard powder. Okay. Yeah. Add some turmeric, some wheat flour. Add some, you know, get the consistency you want with water or some vinegar or mm -hmm. whatever liquid you want. Um, and then you let it stand for 10 minutes. Oh, that's it? Yeah. On a hot table, you just mix it up. Let it heat Easy up. Easy peasy. You want to cook, yeah. cook that wheat flour so it's, you know, not going to give you any diseases. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, and then like you idea. usually just eat it. With the meal. Oh, shit. Hot. Okay. Ready to go. Yeah, I had no clue. Yeah. You go ahead and you just go ahead. That's so many varieties of mustard. Did you know? No, Tim. That that many versions no. of mustard existed in no, the world? No, I didn't. And I got to say, that's definitely up my score now a little bit. Right, like I'm, I'm impressed with the, the every, variations again, of mustard. Everything about mustard is satisfying. Everything about it yeah, is satisfying. No, I, I like you, the story. It's been very full circle for like, me. Like all of it, about, like I think... I think mustard works really well because it's just from a plant. So I think sure. it's just like, this is a direct line. There's not Derivative, a lot of like yeah. deviation. You know, we're not taking two things that don't mix and mixing them. You know, we're not doing anything <laughs> crazy. Like, like this is just like, yeah, man, we have Pretty this, standard stuff. We have this seed yeah. and it's like a spice and Kinda we just, like it. we just add stuff to it, it. And then we turn it into like a condiment essentially. Yeah. When before that it was just used as a spice. So like, and it's still used as a spice today. Like there's a lot of uh, recipes that ask you to, you know, to cover your meat with like salt, pepper, and mustard powder or whatever. You know what okay. I mean? Like, yeah, that's very common. Like it, because it adds that flavor, you know, that's something that people look for. So it is a, super common thing to to still use it in other ways okay. um but it's just so like it's just so in our minds it's just so much like oh yeah it comes in a mm -hmm. yellow bottle and you squeeze it on mm -hmm. stuff like yeah, yeah but that didn't happen like, until yeah. that didn't happen until 1900s yeah. man <laughs> like, mustard was so much more before that yeah, yeah. it was so much more so before is. that you know we were we were having parties and drinking <laughs> two liters at a time of it and we <laughs> <laughs> we, funneling yeah we were doing down. we were doing mustard stands and like, and <laughs> <laughs> we were just, just the kegs tapped you guys yeah we, we were doing we were doing whatever and I, I i think and truly the truly the beauty of mustard is that it was designed to keep people and things from eating it and then we mm -hmm. decided to fuck off with that like no and again i don't think even i don't even think mayo covered as many countries no. In as many parts of the world yeah. as mustard did. I mean, it's truly, tr truly, truly. This might be the most expansive food we've covered. Yeah, so far, I would say. Like, it just seems like everyone Fantos, was yeah. doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's doing it, Mom. Some mustard, man. Everyone's doing it, Mom. Doing it's mustard. normal. Okay? It's normal, Mom. It's normal to experiment with mustard, Mom. <laughs> I promise. Um. Yes, I'm being safe. <laughs> This American pie. No. Um, yeah. I always have my friends with me. I promise. I I'm not doing mustard alone. I'm doing mustard alone. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather know I'm doing it safely under your roof? No. That's, no how, that, that's how mustard is. I'm definitely going to be that with that pair. Um, dude, I'm I'm up in my uh, initial Jay-Z albums. I'm going to give it 14 out of 14 out of 18. Jay-Z albums. Yeah. No, I'm impressed. Yeah. I mean, it's... Yeah. I didn't realize how many variations of mustard there were and right. the different it, ways you could make it. Listen, I went into this liking mustard. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I went into this being like, yeah, mustard's my jam, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 Drunken claim. We can't, we, we can't make any 
sort of we can't bits. They, like that one wasn't bit, a joke bit, like bit, that was just how i talk <laughs> but since we're talking about food it's all a pun now it's so. also it's all word it's play also now. Pu- yeah um, we, jason Mraz. <laughs> yeah. um maybe he likes mustard uh either way yeah i came into this liking mustard and i gotta tell you it did it, it lived up to the hype <laughs> It really did. I was like, You're I was like, you know what? I bet. I was now. like, I was like, man, I bet mustard works. It does. Though. I bet mustard works, and it does work. It's a there's, more, yeah, yeah. There's tons of different varieties, and my favorite thing is, is a lot of the varieties. It's just taking mustard and mixing it with something yeah. else. That's what. Yeah, that's. I like the you simplicity try, of you it. You want to try fruit mustard? We're just gonna make. Grab some jam. Yeah. Mix it with your mustard. <laughs> Weird, but I'll take it. Like yeah. I like household. Maybe yeah, not mix it with mustard. yellow mustard, but mix it with like a grape poupon mustard. Poupon. Mix it with like a yeah. whole grain or like a like a coarse grain mustard, and I bet you have something. I mean, on the, the that. idea that they pretty much were out here making mustard with grapes. Yeah, wine essentially. Yeah. Well, right? I find and, uh, I, I do find that super fascinating. Is that like some of the early renditions were with like either tart grapes yeah. or just with like freshly ground grapes. I thought that was super interesting that that was like the first sort of renditions. Mm-hmm. But I also think it's super wild. I should say first sort of like French renditions. But I, I think it's super wild that the Romans were out here just Dude. like. Like, first of all, that was such an involved recipe. And it's like that recipe would work for like anyone today. Yeah. Like if you were reading that, like yeah. how to how to like make a roast, like and you read that as like the glaze or as like the yeah. the, the thing you put on it while you roasted it. Yeah. It's like, yeah, like of course. I would do that. Sure. <laughs> the, why not? The Romans were out here making aqueducts and mustard. Yeah. <laughs> <We're just laughs> the, the Romans. They had uh, toast and all that all that like, stuff, man. I mean, they were just doing stuff presses. again. They were just doing stuff to like feel alive. I right? like <laughs> <laughs> they had everything else. Yeah. yeah. They were just fucking around. Yeah. They were like, all right, we have the world at our fingertips. So what can we, we do to feel that same adrenaline as when we take over a land and <laughs> pillage? <gonna> make mustard. <laughs> yeah. Making mustard will give us that same feeling. Hey, um, shouts to them, dude. More yeah, power so to them. We've we've upped the mustard score, yeah, guys. Go get you some sure. mustard tonight, right make now. Your own. Whatever you're doing. Stop what you're doing. There's keep this podcast on and go get some mustard. That's the end of yeah, the episode. Mustard. Guys, if you want Tim. more Where Does Food. Which you do. Which, of course, you do. Get another slice. Um, you can follow us at, uh, at, 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 at Where Does Food on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, you can follow us on yeah, Twitter. Pretty, yeah, pretty solid. At Where Does Food, at Tim Weant, or... El Chapo. At El Chapo. You can find us all on the Twitter. Yes. Mr. Bird website. To clarify, it's the letter L and then Chapo. I haven't clarified that. Which, That's okay, right. Which I feel like people would probably, but yeah. Yeah. Just in case. Um, again, you'll actually, if you... Um, uh, if You'll you're trying it. to like type this in while I say it, good luck, I guess. But like, <laughs> it's in the episode description. You'll be able to see our perfect our our ads, so you can add <laughs> us. Um, yeah, you can add us, and uh, also easy, you easy. Can check us out on anchor.fm forward slash where dash does dash food. Boom. Um, yeah, you go to anchor.fm forward slash where gonna- dash does dash food, and you can see that we have a supporter button. You can see the rest of our episode catalog. Cool. You can also see, you know, we are going to be doing some bonus episodes. We're pretty you know, we're gonna, stuff. Yeah, we're going to be bringing in some, you know, some different categories, maybe doing some some very, like, specific beers or, like, you know, specific wines and spirits or maybe some shorties, things like that, some shorter episodes, some bonus content. So you can support us there, which will, you know, help us keep the lights on, get us new equipment, you know all the stuff that capitalists say to make yes. you feel like supporting them makes you a good person. Um, Thank you. Come again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can find us on Spotify, Apple podcasts, leave a review on Apple podcasts for super us. Will ya? Just leave a review. Please. Um, it's super helpful. Also, you know, cast box, we're on a lot of different platforms. So check us out at all Very that exciting. fun stuff. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.